What's up YouTube? And as you can see behind me, we have the Vic all lit up now. She is 80% uh, of the way done. So I wanna walk around and give you guys just a real quick tour of the 2010 Vic as she sits right now. So up front, we have STL Z4 linears. Um, kind of hard to see the patterns on the phone here because they're all blown out, but um, got uh, individual lights up in pairs. So the outside lights are paired together, then the inners and so on and so forth. So um, got a uh, Raptor uh, forehead dash light there. Of course, the headlights are wig wagging um, and the uh, wig wag kit that's built into the Crown Vic, the 2010 model. Come around the side of the car here and you'll see the another set of uh, z4s and the windows there these things are really really bright i mean they're blowing the phone out and you can see through the tent the one on the other side over there and then in the back here four more z4 linears um, set up in the rear deck and then the tail lights and the brake lights are set to wig wag on an in out in out pattern um, so some more things that are being done to the car because obviously it's not done yet. There is a eight head traffic advisor coming from STL that's going to go in the middle of the window. I'm not going to cut the tent. It will be amber. There's also a uh, split Raptor visor bar going across the top of the window there. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to cut the tent for those. They're amber and they're TIR, not linear. So they should shine through the tent better than these did which is why we cut the tent for those. Um, then around front here, she's gonna be getting another Raptor split amber bar across the top and doing amber because this car is going to be a pilot car. Um, it will have flag holders on it in the next couple of weeks and uh, again, next couple of days, getting a hitch on the rear of the car with a special uh, metal uh, attachment to hold the rear oversized sign. Uh, and then on the front bumper here, we had one installed in the video I did the other day. I think we did, but um, it did not work, so it got sent back. And uh, so another six head uh, traffic advisor will be mounted right here. And that'll be here in a couple of days. So that's the basic gist of the car right there. And, uh, you know, uh, oh, the 4200. Got to show you guys the 4200. And I'd show you guys the wiring. I'll show you the wiring job. So the 4200 is run via Bluetooth. So you can do all this here. And of course there's a, a front cut. So if you want to just turn the front off, turns the fronts off. Um, there's a rear cut, so on and so forth. There is a Storm Pro siren on the car. So we do have a horn. I'm not going to do that or any of the siren tones. I don't want to make my neighbors upset and mad with me because I don't want to get kicked out of my HOA. See what else I can show you. Oh, the wiring. This is by far the most ugly wiring job in the history of wiring jobs. But I was trying to get this thrown together real quick. It needs to be cleaned up. But here you go. Um, it is a mess. But there's the Phoenix 4200 and the Storm Pro Siren. And then a bunch of wiring mess that needs to get cleaned up. So... Uh, if you're wondering how I did the uh, rear wig wags here, it's real simple. I just spliced into the brake lights there, I mean to the rear reverse lights, and the same thing on the brake lights. Um, and then the 4200 does the rest of it. So that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, there's not much more I think I can show you guys. Uh, the 4200 controller, maybe. So there's the controller. But yeah, that's everything that I've done so far with the car. And uh, as always, when I get more stuff done, I'll post up more videos. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, peace. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, whole nine yards. Have a good one, guys.